as the official Hogwarts Legacy account continues to trickle out small bits of information about the game, we're also seeing a continued increase in smaller little potential leaks, I guess you could call it, and they are all centered around one thing, and that is the release date for Hogwarts Legacy. So I want to start with the most recent bit of news first, and then we're kind of going to work our way backwards from there. I got to give a shout out to Luke73TNT on Twitter, who screenshotted this and sent it over to me. This was also posted on the Harry Potter game subreddit, but if you're wondering what exactly this is if you pull up the email on your phone you're usually going to see who it's from at the top and then you're going to have the subject line and then very often there will be a brief preview of what's going to be in the email so here you can see this one right here xbox news at gamestop and then score an xbox series x with xbox all access and then in the little preview text it says pre-order hogwarts legacy collector's edition now it was just a few short weeks ago that some folks found it hidden within the code on the actual hogwarts legacy website there was some information hinting around at a collector's edition also a digital deluxe edition and as I have cautioned folks from the beginning on that even though it was found on the website that was not public information which means it's not confirmed it may have been put there who knows when by Avalanche and plans could have certainly changed since it was put there could have just been put there as a test for when they do have something official to announce they would just want to get it ready who knows so while we can certainly use it to speculate and hope that some of those things are going to be in the ultimate collection edition that we see we can't take it to the bank as 100% confirmed just yet I do think there's going to be a collector's edition I think it would be a huge mistake and would leave a lot of money on the table if they don't do one. So I think it's going to happen. But it hasn't been announced officially yet, and we still don't have a release date for the game. I could absolutely see them announcing the Collector's Edition and the release date for the game at the same time, which is exactly what we saw just happen with God of War Ragnarok. So whenever we do get that release date announcement, I think that is the point that we'll also get a Collector's Edition announcement as well, if they're going to do one, which... Again, fingers crossed they are. So now you might be asking, well, what exactly is in this email, right? Well, here's where it gets pretty odd, because in the body of the email itself, there is no mention of Hogwarts Legacy at all. So it seems like this was actually a mistake. The OP over on Reddit actually searched their email in the plain text. So essentially, they took it down to the code, searched everything, and again, Hogwarts Legacy doesn't show up at all. So I think some of us were hoping that maybe they leaked a little bit more in that plain text email that we'd be able to find out, but there is nothing at all unless you look at the exact HTML, which shows that preview text about pre-ordering the Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition. Now, I was on vacation, so I didn't get to make a dedicated video on this, but just a few days ago, we also had a situation with the official Harry Potter art book. And it seems like the official title for that is The Art and Making of Hogwarts Legacy, Exploring the Unwritten Wizarding World. Now, if you live in the U.S. and you go and search this on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below, it currently has a December 31st release date, and that is what it has had for a while on a number of different websites. However, the thing that changed recently is in the U.K., Japan, Portugal, and Italy, all of those Amazon websites have updated this date to now say December 6th, which is a date that has long been speculated by Hogwarts Legacy fans as a potential release date for Hogwarts Legacy. Now, after seeing that, I did some double checking on my own. Walmart, Google Books, Barnes & Noble, and Amazon US all still have the late December 31st, which again is just a placeholder date. They all still have that. They do not show December 6th. But again, clearly this was something that was manually triggered. Someone at Amazon in those various countries had to go in and say, okay, we need to flip the switch on this. The question is, why? Did they get some sort of reliable information on when the art book is releasing? And even if that part is confirmed, this is what everybody has to make sure they remember, even if that part is confirmed, that doesn't necessarily mean that the game is for sure coming out that day. Now, if you go by some of WB's other games, Gotham Knights, for example, its art book and the game are scheduled to release the same day. Personally, I I think it would be strange if the art book released before the game because there's the potential for spoilers there, right? I definitely think it makes a lot of sense for it to actually release on the day that the game comes out. All that being said, I still want to caution folks on the release date for the art book because if you remember all the way back in February when the Twitter account at Rolling Library actually broke the story about Inside Editions to publish the art and making of Hogwarts Legacy, the original date scheduled there was September of 2022. It was actually September 6th, 2022, which again, set off a big firestorm among fans hoping that, hey, that's going to be the release date, right? September. Of course, this was back in February before the state of play, so we didn't even know half of what we know about the game now, but we eventually saw that updated to now reflect December 6th. Now, another piece of information here that I haven't really seen a lot of folks talk about, if you go back to that article from Rolling Library, he posted an update on February 9th, which talked about the fact that 
the date was being changed. However, the date that he shows on Amazon UK was December 6th, all the way back then. So maybe it changed to December 31st after this, and then they changed it back again to December 6th. I don't know, but I do think it's important that we all remember something that Rolling Library included in that article here. I'll just go ahead and quote. This is normal in the publication world, where release dates are not set in stone and can change, especially if we are months away from it. It is not possible to know right now which one will be the final release date of the book until it is confirmed by the publisher. Close quote. So just to be clear here, these dates have not been confirmed by the publisher. And even if they were, that wouldn't necessarily mean that Hogwarts Legacy is releasing December 6th. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I've continued to hear some rumblings that the game is potentially going to be delayed to next year. So fans may need to brace themselves for that possibility. Now, for the good news, though, everything seems to be adding up. All these little kind of leaks that are starting to trickle out. Everything seems to be leading up to the fact that we are going to get something soon. Now, I made a post back in early July saying that I thought a big announcement was coming soon. We've been almost a month out from that now. Clearly we haven't had a big announcement. So I was definitely wrong there. I thought it was going to happen mid July, late July. Now here we are early August. So I am still expecting something soon. I mean, I think August, early September at the absolute latest guys. I mean, I think Avalanche would almost have to give some sort of release date update by early September. I mean, either way, if the game is going to get pushed, then you really need to let people know at that point that it's going to get pushed in next year. And if it's not, well then, hey, I mean, September, October, November, December, it's here. That is not a lot of marketing buildup time for the masses, for the casual fans. Now I know all of us, we've been following every little piece of information that's trickled out about this game, but you got to remember they want to reach a much wider audience than those of us who have been kind of following things every week. Yes, we are the core audience. Don't get me wrong, guys. They definitely want us, but they know they have us. They have our attention, but they want to reach even more. So they want to reach all these casual Harry Potter fans. They're going to do TV campaigns. They're going to run ads probably on YouTube and other websites. Sony obviously has a huge role in the marketing of Hogwarts Legacy. So this is going to get a pretty big marketing push. And I think that three, four month range is sort of the minimum that you would want to see for that buildup. Now that doesn't mean you're going to have something every single week. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for August. I still think we're going to get an ASMR pretty soon. And then hopefully a release date and collector's edition announcement soon as well. And then I'm not even going to get into the other rumor that just hit today about the potential for a PlayStation showcase in August. But if it happens, then that would certainly be another great opportunity for an announcement on Hogwarts Legacy. Now I have been wanting a game like this for so long guys and if you want to hear my story of why I am so excited then check out the video on the right side of your screen now and all the other Hogwarts Legacy content on the channel as always thank you all so much for watching I'll talk to you again soon